This year, I'm letting you in on one of my top movement secrets and also how I get a little bit of more brain stimulation into my day-to-day -day existence. Now, if I'm not working out or expending too much energy doing a big training session, what you will see me doing is standing 10 minutes on my vibration plate every other day. This little workout that I've devised, I do this, I promise, exactly the same routine as this because not only is it creating an amazing amount of circulation because that's, what that's what's happening when you vibrate, but it's also creating a lymphatic flush so we get better cell perfusion when our cells are able to pull nutrients in, but more importantly, kick out the crap, the waste, and more circulation will help us kick out crap. Thirdly, it's going to be working strength and also mobility. So it is a just an amazing all-in-one 10-minute workout. Now, if you can commit yourself to this workout at least five days a week, you are going to notice a phenomenal change in not only the external exterior of this home, but you're going to feel the benefits on the inside as well. Things are going to start to change. So without further ado, I am going to Get on this 10 minute vibration machine. Now, obviously I'm gonna try and talk you through this workout, but note, I will be vibrating. So my voice is gonna sound kind of weird, but it's the only way to kind of walk you through it as well. Now, if you do not have a vibration machine, it's not the end of the world. You can do everything that I'm doing on the floor, or you can add little bounces in yourself like this. Super easy. You do not need to spend money on something you don't have when you can easily replicate it. All right. Let's get started. I'm gonna set my vibration machine to about medium speed, 10 minutes, and in that 10 minutes, we're gonna go through a little workout together. All right, let's get started. The first thing I do as soon as I jump on my vibration Machine is I open up my lymphatic channels so that the circulation can flow better and so that I can get my waste out better. So we start at the clavicles. I actually give my underneath my collarbone a nice little rub, both sides, and then tap it out. I've got my microphone there, so I'm not gonna to do too much tapping in front of that. From there, I tap out my neck, <laughs> underneath my ears, through my jaw, I give it a little stimulating rub. This is the big six, trademarked by Dr. Perry, if you wanna look at his work. Then I give a little tap all over my face and all over my head, follow along with me. Stimulation, vibration, sensation, amazing for switching on the sensory cortex in the brain. Third most important thing in brain health, sensation. Then we go under the armpits. We have a little tap under there and all the way down the side of the body. We go to the other side. Give it a good whack. I mean, you're not gonna do any damage by giving yourself a little punch. Good. Fourth spot is through the belly, right under the rib cage. I tap through right under the rib cage. Sometimes it feels like you're being a little bit winded when you do that, all over the belly. We're going down to the hips and the groin in a second. All right, down through the groin. I go over the hips and through the lower back and kidney zone. Over the butt. I slap down the inner thighs and behind my knees. Come up the legs. This helps with spider veins. Good. <sighs> All right, we've opened up the channels. Now we can start moving, which is also gonna open up the channels as well because I'm gonna start up at the arms. So for the next almost three to four minutes, you are not dropping your arms. Let's start with your arms out to the side. I want you to give me 10 circles one way. This is gonna burn, but stick with the burn. The burn is fine. You want nice, strong arms. You want them to look nice. This is a great way to add in a little bit of as I said, that external looking goodness, but also what you're doing is creating mobility here. Look at the movement I'm creating here. Okay, let's reverse it and go 10 the other way. Do not drop your arms. 
Good. Then we are clapping, so in and then up. We go in and up. Now, as you're doing this, I want you to support your core by pulling your ribs to the floor. We're doing 10 of these. Think 10 each time. I'm going to have a hard time counting and talking, so just bear with me. Good. Let's go five more. Five. Keep your arms up. Do not drop them after this. Four. Three. We're going to lat pull down after this. Two. One. Hold them up. Lat pull down. They're going to start to burn instantly. Mine already are. Probably because I've already done an arm workout, but that's okay. Ten of these. Four. Five. Six. Do not drop your arms. I don't care if they're burning off your bones. Try and stick with this as long as possible. I mean, obviously, if you can't do it, do five reps instead of ten. Last one here. Stay here. You're going down and up. These are all amazing range of motion movements for a shoulder. We're mapping our brain to our shoulder here. The burn is real, and that's okay, because you're also creating muscle. Resistance gives you more range of motion. We need to add more resistance into our day. Three, keep them out. Two, one, hold them back out to the side, the burn. You're going to draw a little C shape. Ooh, I can feel it. As I said, do five reps instead of 10. Work your way up. That's okay. You start where you start. And then you've at least got things to work towards. We've got three and keep them out. Two, one, then we're turning the tap off and on. Oh, the burn, off and on, off and on, off and on. Five more, five, burn, four. We're gonna punch after this, three, two, one, punch it out. Give yourself a little bit of a break punching out. This is honestly how I do keep my arms trim. Yes, I do weights as well, but since I've been doing this consistently, this little 10 minute routine of arms and legs, I've just noticed a difference in the shape too. Keep punching. You're gonna to squeeze together here and go straight up. It's almost like there's a line that you can't cross. So you're not going out to the side, it's straight up. Oh, my deltoids are burning. Your heart rate will start getting up here too because you are moving and circulating flow. Blood flow. Good. We've got one more arm one. And that is closing it off for 10, 9, 8. Then you can stick those arms down. 6, 5, burn. 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax them down. <laughs> You're going to do some big shoulder circles for me here. Circle them out. And then we go down to our legs. A little bit of squats. A little bit of deadlifts. Good, reverse the other way. What time are we on? <sighs> Got three minutes, I think. Four minutes to go. Start squatting for me, down and up. Down and up, stick that bottom out. Out, grip your toes, grip your heels. Good. In and out here. Beautiful. Let's go five. Four, then you're going to stay down. Three, two, one. Stay low here. Now I want you to pull your heels in at this point. And then you're going to give me little pulses. Front, side, front, side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, burn. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, stand up. You're going to do a straight-legged touch straight through the center for 10. Nine, so it's a deadlift. Eight, seven, six, who's puffing? Five, no, that was six. Five, <laughs> four, squeeze the butt on the way up. Three, two, one, beautiful. Stand on one side of the vibration plate. It's going to be a lot harder when you stand on one side, depending on the plate you have. And you're going to kick out the leg 10 times. One, balance and strength. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Obviously, you can hold onto a wall, but we want the balance in there as well. Let's go the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Calf raises. Your calf muscle is the only muscle that pumps blood back to your heart. Get them moving. Get them strong so they can do their job of circulation. Good. Five, six, seven, eight. What time have we got? Nine, ten. You're coming down one more time into that squat. Beautiful. Can you do a little calf raise here? You can hang on to something if you need to. Whew. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pulse it out, last ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, twist for me. Twist it out. Whew. Twist it out. All right, I want you to finish with a little eye exercise. You're going to keep your head still, but follow your finger anywhere you want it to go. We're going to work the muscles of the eyes for the last 30 seconds here. Squares, triangles. Follow that finger. Keep the head still. Work the muscles of the eyes. And we're nearly completed our 10 minute fun. Lots happening in the body creating lots of movement, lots of circulation, and lots of strength. Whew, there you go. That was 10 minutes. That's what I do nearly every day, as I said, if I'm not training. I want you to commit to that. You don't have to do it on the vibration, just do it on the floor. But if you have a vibration plate, which I know so many people do that's sitting in the back cupboard collecting dust, it is a vital piece of equipment. It can really help enhance movement muscle mass circulation to the next degree if you're someone who's not doing the work or not exercising to that degree now. So give that a try. I'm going to also link below in this video the benefits of vibration so you can have another look and I hope that you stick to this 10 minute routine with me. I know I'm going to be doing this for the rest of the year because I find it easy and fun but very rewarding and I can see the difference and that's what we like.